Hello everyone, Ali Reza here and welcome back to another video. So this is a very quick one about blueprint communication using variables and object references. Here as we can see I have a point light here in my level and I also have this uh, blueprint actor here. Here as you can see I'm able to control this light and toggle it by overlapping with this blueprint here. This is very simple to set up and it works based on object referencing. So let's delete this and start from scratch to show you guys how it's done. So first of all you need a point light so just drag it in and bump up the intensity so you can see it easier and you can also change the light color to something else. Now we want to be able to control this using a blueprint. So here just right click in your contents browser, create a blueprint and go for the actor class. Let's name it BP platform light switch and open it up. First let's add a cube so we can see where the blueprint is in our level. Just scale it down in the z-axis and then scale it up in the x and y-axis so it's bigger and then add a box collision. Using this box collision we are able to get an event when our first person character overlaps with this area. Now go to your event graph and here right click on the box collision add event and add on component begin overlap. Next we want to cast to our first person character. So search for first person character and cast to it and plug the other actor output into the object pin here. This is because we want the platform to work only when our first person character is colliding with it and we don't want it to work when it's collided or overlapped with other actors in the level. Next we need to create a variable. So here create a variable, name it light switch and for the type you need to search for point light. Here in object types you can see that we have this point light here. Now click object reference and now we are able to reference our actors in the level. So just drag it in, get your light switch and just toggle visibility for your light component. Then plug this in and also make this instance editable so you can define the actor in your level using your level editor. So just hit this and now you can see that when you drag it into your level here you can select the actor that you want to reference. So just select this here and you're good to go. You can see that when I overlap with the box, the point light is toggled. If you want to toggle this again when you go out of the box, all you need to do is to just add on component end overlap and just repeat the same process. So again, connect it to cast to BP first person character, connect the object and that's it. The object can be also used from this or this, it doesn't matter. Now you can see that when I step outside of the area, the light is toggled as well. You can do other stuff with this as well. For example, 
you can change the color of your light instead of toggling its visibility so just search for light color set light color and let's set it on red now you can see that i can change the color of the light yeah that's it guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel peace out